Hi, this is Mr. Shumway asking the question, can you encode messages using matrices? Let's find out. <clears throat> yes, you can encode ma messages by multiplying by a matrix. You can retrieve the original message by multiplying by the inverse matrix. Okay, so the matrix 7, 5, 4, 3, the inverse of that matrix is 7, negative 5, negative 4, negative 7. It looks like the pattern is to flip, exchange places with those two, and make the other two change signs. But they've chosen this one. There's one added feature that we have to include is we have to multiply that by 1 over the determinant of this matrix. Well, the determinant of that matrix, of the original matrix, is made, well, is 1 over that. Okay, so the determinant is 7 times 3 minus 4 times 5. So I've, I've multiplied diagonals. And so that gives me 21 minus 20. So they've chosen this one so that it comes out nice and neat. 21 minus 20 is 1, so I just have 1 over 1. And then I just trade places with the 7 and 3 and make the 4 and the 5 negative. So <clears throat> when you do the encoding yourself, you might want to use these matrices. So you don't have to deal with um, fractional results, so you can still deal in whole numbers. But it, it would work um, as long as you keep track of all the decimal places, exact numbers, and not round them anywhere. Okay, so if we multiply 2 times 7 plus 6 times 4, Just clean that up a little bit by typing it. So multiply across the matrix on the left. As I go down the matrix here, and then down that one. So evaluating those, we get 38 and 28. So anytime we multiply matrices, this is a 1 by 2, multiplying by a 2 by 2. These two numbers in the middle have to be the same to be able to multiply. The reason I mention that is because if you try to multiply it the other way around, with the 2 by 2 on the left, you'll get confused like I did. Um, so now let's see if we can get that 38, 28 converted back to 2, 6. So let's multiply our 38, 28 by the inverse matrix. So we have 38 times 3 and 28 times negative 4. So 38 times 3 times 28 times negative 4 for the first location. 38 times negative 5 plus 28 times 7. We have those two numbers. So then we go ahead and evaluate those multiplication and additions. That will be 114 minus 112 and negative 190 plus 196 evaluating to 2 and 6 back to our original matrix. So as long as we use the inverse matrix, we can recover our code. Can you encode messages using matrices? Yes. You may want to use the matrices that I have used because then you will have whole numbers won't have to keep track of fractions.